We'll be speaking to Ryan in just a moment, but I wanted to explain first to you why we are in the Stoke Sentinel offices, right in the middle of Stoke-on-Trent. Well, it's all because the club is celebrating 150 years of their existence. The actual anniversary itself is uh, the early part of spring next year, but they've had a host of events already. But this is the latest of them, look, and the Stoke Sentinel are getting involved. They've got nine special supplements. That, believe it or not, is a very young Sir Stanley Matthews as their part two, really chronicling everything that uh, is Stoke City over those 150 years. They've even got a big red book, a book of memories where various people are putting in uh, their best memories of Stoke City over the years. That one, look, Ryan Shawcross, the FA Cup semi-final, the 5-0 victory over Bolton. We'll talk to him about that in a moment, but if you have a look over here, you can see, look, here's some of his best moments. August 11, 2007, he, he scores on his Stoke debut. Then up here, 2008, Shawcross is promoted with Stoke City. Up here, look, he leads Stoke out at Wembley for that FA Cup final. Don't mention the results to him, he might get upset about that. But... 2012, he makes his England debut. Is that special for Ryan Shaw? Because I've worked with him. Is that, I mean, you put the 5 0 win, Ryan, but that England debut for you must have been really special, wasn't it? Yeah, it was great for, for me and my family. Obviously, the result was the main thing, and it was disappointing. And um, towards the end of the game, we, we uh, sort of crumbled a bit. But um, overall, uh, I was pleased to get my debut and hopefully I can get some, some more caps under my belt. To be part of that England setup, we saw you training with England as well. Did you feel very comfortable? You've come such a long way in such a short space of time. Yeah, obviously being involved with the 21s and then a couple of years ago I was called up to the senior squad and um, I've been in the last couple so you, you do uh, get comfortable the more you're, you're more you're involved and it's a great group of lads and we're all striving to, to be successful. I've got to ask you about your contract, you'd expect me to. Every Stoke fan wants to know whether you're going to be staying. You've been offered a six year contract, that's a heck of a big contract, but we've been told that the likes of Manchester United and Liverpool are interested in signing you, some very big clubs, so where does your future lie? Obviously, um, I'm happy at Stoke. I've got 18 months left. Um, I think we're in talks at the moment over my contract, and uh, these things take time. So, um, what will be will be. But hopefully, um, hopefully, I can stay on. You want to stay? Yeah, I do want to stay. Um, I've enjoyed my time here. I'm captain. Uh, the gaff has been great to me. Um, it's just a case of uh, these contracts take take their time, and um, there's just little things need to be ironed out. It, it, there are, there are. I mean, Sir Alex Ferguson has spoken an awful lot about how much he rates you in the past. It must be flattering to be linked with the likes of United and Liverpool. Yeah, it is, but it, most of it's a lot of uh, paper, paper talk. When your contract comes towards the end, or you've got 18 months left, you're always going to get linked to other teams. And, and lucky for me, I'm doing okay. So you, you do get linked, linked to other teams. But um, ultimately, I'm, I'm happy at Stoke, and it's just up to my agent and, and the club to sort it out now. A word about Tony Pulis and the job he's done. You've been, you've been with him the whole ride, really, from the championship right the way through. He's shown a lot of faith in you. Just how important is he to you and to this football club? Uh, he's been the mainstay for the, the last 10 years. He's, he's been fantastic and um, I think it shows in, in recent times how well we've been performing and he keeps stepping up every year and improving on his managerial as, as the team are and um, he's been fantastic for me and fantastic for the team.